Take a beautiful and scenic drive along 13 curves, a long winding stretch also known as Cedar Rail Road, just west of the city of Syracuse. The peaceful drive is deceptive, as this location has been a hotbed of paranormal activity for nearly 70 years. According to local folklore, the story begins with a young bride and groom on their wedding night. As the newlyweds traveled the road, their car veered out of control, killing both lovers instantly. Many have reported seeing the bride, still in her wedding dress, a white apparition standing on the side of the road or wandering from side to side. Others have said she appeared in the car, her white dress spattered in blood. There have been so many reports of her sighting that even the most skeptical among us should wonder, is she searching for her groom? Travel Cedarville Road and you may have the opportunity to ask her. What's up YouTube friends, I'm Brian Hewitt of Hewitt Films and in this video me and my friend Colleen are checking out 13 Curves. Colleen's been doing some research on the subject of the 13 Curves and we're going to see what we can find today. Alright guys, we're at the 7th Curve of 13 Curves. We think that this is one of the steepest curves that we've seen so far. We're going to probably investigate this curve coming up here. Let me show you how steep that is. What do you think? Curve number seven. I'm just making sure we're at the right one. Pretty sure that's seven. Six. Yeah, you are here. So that is seven. Let me get over here before I get killed. That's one thing, guys. You got to wear a vest if you're going to come investigate this legend of uh, the bride ghost. Definitely wear vests. You want to be visible. So you got to be careful on this road. Cars come whipping through here. So what did you find out about any of the research that you did so far? So, in most of the stories that I read and researched, they said the 6th or the 7th curve. That's where and, the accident happened? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Um, everything I've read and all the documentation, um, well, so-called documentation, um, I haven't found documentation of actual death on this curve, and that's part of the issue. You look at that in 7, I'd say number 7 is the one that fits the story better. Um, but another thing is, you know, people are saying, oh, 67 years ago, 67, um, it's 2021 right now, so now they keep saying 60, 70, and it doesn't even make sense because you've got to add another 20 onto that, so it's more like 80, 90 now. Um, the timelines don't match up with all the things I've read. People are saying it happened in the 40s, other people are saying it happened in the 50s. Um, some people are saying that the legend started in the 40s, but then there's other people that said it started in the 70s. Um, she said her and her family started it, the rumor, because of teens speeding in the area and whatnot, and they wanted to give them a scare. But there's other people in articles I've read that said it started in the 40s, um, and that their grandma knew about the story uh, growing up. There was a woman back in the 40s, um, I'm sorry, the 50s, she was traveling down here with her family and she was a kid and she was with her parents and they were going down the 13 curves and all of a sudden the dad um, stopped. I can't remember if the, the mom yelled, somebody yelled there was a woman and she said it almost like she came through the car and she said, and then vanished, and she said her mom was crying. I don't know if she like, felt her energy or whatnot. Um, so that was back in the 50s. I've read different articles about these, this family, the mom and son and her friends, 
that some, some say that the bride was all bloody, and then other ones said it was like a blur of light. Every story is different and no one has the same story. It's never consistent, it's always changing. The timeline's always changing, the description of the bride's always changing, the curve is always changing. Um, and once again, no documentation. I can't find any of the people that have documented things and say they have sources. I can't get that source. I've called a couple places and they um, only have the same stuff I've heard and you could probably find online as well, but not one actual documentation of someone dying on this curve. All right, so what we decided to do is we're going to walk to the seventh curve over here and we're going to see how steep it is and uh, just to check it out, check out the area itself. I'm going to do the perfect time right here. But that would be too obvious. I don't know like whose property this is. Probably right here. Or some of these. I, know I looked on the satellite to see where the houses start, but I, I think they're further. There are some, but they're like back. But I think they're down there more. I just can't remember where the first house is. It's like that off farmland right there. All right, so this is the seventh curve. If they hit that curve, they would go that direction, right? Yeah. So let's see. That's pretty steep. I don't know what that is, it's a railing. So they replaced this railing. Yep. I don't know. I've noticed all these, a couple of these are knocked down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You could see a. You can see where a car hit, car hit this. Oh, We're really? not. I'm not saying it's the car, of course. Because no. I don't think if. I don't think these would have been here. So I have my DVR. I use this for EVPs, which are electronic voice phenomena. If you're not familiar, um, see if we can pick up any voices that you can't detect by ear. And sometimes you can hear them by ear, but most of the time, um, if the spirit's trying to communicate, they're at a different frequency, so you can't hear. Um, this is my little EMF detector, picks up any EMF spikes, which we're not getting, except for my phone. I'll just show you, like, say if it goes off. You can't hear it, it's making a noise. This probably won't work really, it's a laser grid, because you don't have like a flat, uniform surface. These are usually used inside, um, like in a room, and you just point it at wherever you want to see if, you know, maybe if movement occurs, um, you're not going to really, it's too light. Oh wow, But it's yeah. got the grid, so if anything crosses the surface, you'll see. And there's so many more, I was reading more on this last night, and I don't know, I'm not like the techie like person, but there's things that you can use um, to generate the image, and then, it's hard to explain, you'd have to read on this, but it's really cool. This is a, um, especially a trigger object, object for if you're trying to do a ghost hunt with kids, Sp spirits of kids or like that. He prompts, he has voice prompts that'll ask questions that um, then you use your DVR to record any spirits talking back to the bear. He also lights up if he has any, um, detects any heat changes. So it's starting to get dark out here in 13 Curves and I got my headlamp and for some reason the batteries aren't working. 
I just charged it last night. All right, so right now we got our little teddy bear device here. What's he called again? Boo Bear? Yep, Boo Buddy. Boo Buddy. Put the EMF ready. What is your name? The bear is answering me. Where are you from? How old are you? Was there a crash on this road? Did somebody get hurt on this road? That's the bear. Huh? Oh, because the bear? It did? What did he Yeah, not the bear. Is there anyone who wants to talk to us today? We got all these devices here. You just come up and talk with us. Got a car coming. Thank you for your time. Is there anybody here that wants to say hi? Let me know this is working. Mr. Bear talking. Hi, is anybody here with us? Is anybody there that wants to say hi? Was there a crash here? On 13 curves? What was the name of the old road? Um, Pumpkin and Toad Hollows. Pumpkin and Toad ho Hollows? Yep. Does that sound familiar to you? Or does Cedarville Road sound more familiar? I'm not even getting anything with the antenna. Weird. Every now and then I still hear the stations going through, but... So, so far we've uh, did a little of the spirit box testing. We didn't even, we didn't go through our, EV, see if we got any EVPs on the digital recorders. But, uh, so far we haven't found or got any response yet. So, we're checking it out right now. Colleen just turned that laser grid on. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let me turn my light off. We're in a building. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Yeah. 
Can you imagine yourself like somebody walked through that? Yeah. So now we're walking down a ways to find a different curve on 13 curves to see if we can get some activity down here. It's actually really dark out here, guys. I mean, even with my light, when I turn my camera around, you can't see it. And my battery's dying. What? Your camera? Yeah. Oh, shit. Good thing we're going this way, then. Well, I have another battery on me. Oh, okay. But what the hell? My battery on my lamp died and this. You should probably get on the other side. Yeah, you're probably right. So my battery and my headlamp died, and the battery in my camera died, or is dying right now, which I find kind of strange. But we're not picking up anything on the devices that we brought with us, so that's also kind of strange. Hmm. I guess we'll see, guys. Is there a bride on these curves? Anyone wants to talk to us? You can talk right through this device here. I thought I heard something like super faint. It was super, super faint. Usually it's way louder though. Anybody there that wants to say hello? Okay. Did you just say hello? Can you try and say hello again if that was you? Okay. Car coming. One second. All right, so we tried the spirit box a few times and uh we got to faint something. We're going to have to go back on the uh, video see if I can hear what the spirit said on the, through the box. But either than that, um, we haven't really picked up very much. Haven't seen anything. Haven't seen a ghost ride. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, Ollie? Uh, 
I don't know, I'm starting to think that my first impression of nothing being true is true. Um, I don't feel anything. We weren't picking up anything. Yeah, I'm not getting any vibes or anything. No, and I just, again, it just goes back to, I'm just kind of like a factual base person unless something happens to my my own self. And I don't have any proof. I can't find any proof online. The people that said they have proof can't prove that they have the proof. Um, so I'm not buying it, but I'm not saying that people have had experiences. I'm not going to discount that. They may have. Um, and that's probably the only thing that still makes me a little bit interested in what what they saw. But I guess for now it's just going to be a legend to me. Still a fun legend. I grew up with it. Me too. Um, I'm, I'm down for it, but I just don't believe it's factually true as well. But that's just my opinion. I'm Brian here to Hewitt Films. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe to Hewitt Films. Thank you.